Welcome to our lecture online. Our next video is going to show you why when you add two capacitors in parallel, the sum or the total or the equivalent capacitance is simply equal to the sum of the initial two capacitors. So here we have two capacitors. I drew them differently to indicate, at least graphically, that capacitor 2 has a larger plate area than capacitor 1. A larger plate area would indicate a larger capacitance. But they're connected in parallel, which means that if we connect this to a battery, charges can then go on either one of the two capacitors. In essence, they'll go on both capacitors, and to the charges, they don't care if they go here or there, they just take advantage of the, all of the plate capacitance that's there. In other words, if we write that C1 can be written as, uh, let's see here, that would be K times epsilon sub naught, assuming that there may be a, um, a dielectric in there, times the area divided by the distance between the plates, plus, and of course we'll go area 1, and assuming that the distance is the same for both, then we have K times epsilon sub naught, A2 divided by D, again the same distance, and notice what we could do here is we could factor out everything except A1 plus A2. So this would be equal to um, K epsilon sub naught times 1 over D times A1 plus A2. And here we can realize then that it's simply the sum of the area of the plates. And since both of these plates are connected to the same part of the circuit, the charges can go here, they can go there, they don't care. So ultimately, this is simply equal to the total capacitance, C total, where the area of the total capacitance, and that should be an E, not an A, where the total area is simply the sum of A1 plus A2. And that is why we can say that when we put capacitors in parallel, the total capacitance, or as we sometimes say in circuitry, the equivalent capacitance, that if we could replace these two capacitors by a single capacitor, all we have to make sure is that this capacitance has the sum of the areas of the first two. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly that. It could be that the distances are different and so forth, but in essence, when we connect capacitors in parallel, the sum or the equivalent is simply equal to the sum the algebraic sum of the two capacitors, and this is then always the case. So for example, if this was a capacitor that was equal to, let's say, two microfarads, and this is a capacitor that was equal to, let's say, four microfarads, then the total capacitance, when we connect them in parallel, that would then be equal to two microfarads plus four microfarads, which is equal to six microfarads. And that's the simple part of capacitors. When they're in series, it's more difficult. But when they're in parallel, we can simply add them up by simply doing an algebraic sum. And the reason is that in this case, the plates are connected to the same part of the circuit. So we simply add up the, si the, plates of the, the size of the plates, and we have the result. And that's how it's done.